Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is that currently we're still holding up 21,500, holding that area of support for the time being. The bad news is that I expect it to come down. Now, a couple of days ago, I showed you guys this Adam and Eve pattern. The great news about it is this pattern was also the same pattern that we saw in the 2018 bottom. However, it didn't just take off and go up. It had a pullback and it looks eerily similar to what we have going on right now. So join me in the chart room and let's discuss this a little further. Road dog crypto. Quickly, some similarities I wanna bring up to you. Our chart that we're at now on your right hand side, and you can see that we've kind of made a flag pattern right here. Let's take a look at Market Cipher. We got a red dot up here. Going back to 2018, we also had that red dot at that same place. It looks eerily similar. Even the Ichimoku, the cloud formations look similar. But let me show you what happened in 2018. 18 after this pattern developed we had a pullback it pulled back roughly about 12 percent taking it to this lower line which on our case in 2022 would be just right above the twenty thousand dollar area now in 2018 after it hit that area it gradually and slowly made its way up over about a period of a month before it just had a humongous bump up as we started getting these crosses on our EMAs. Now, if we look over at 2022, of course, now I'm on an eight hour chart on the 2022. I'm using the one day on the 2018 that had the most similarities that I could find between these two patterns. So it is a possibility and most likely because I'm not seeing the strong volume that we need to just take off from here on this bull flag. So I expect this bull flag to actually break down, make kind of a Bart Simpson kind of pattern, come back down to this trend line and just kind of ride it down to the $20,000 mark. So if you're investing, this would be a good Good area 20,000 20,200 right through there to throw some limit orders in and to pick up some Bitcoin at a good price before it possibly will eventually take off we may not see these prices this low again for a little while so look how beautiful this played out after the retest it took a while about a month and then it had a sharp move up and just ran up like crazy now what I've done is I've copied this as a fractal so I put it to scale the top of the pattern here to where it retested this trend line and look how it played out over this month it hits into the falling wedge comes up is rejected from the top comes up breaks out does a retest and then we keep going on so it fits very well if this holds true then we may have actually found our bottom now the timeline that we've got is about late august before we would see a big jump up keep in mind this is just a ballpark figure but it is eerily similar to what happened in 2018. So now I've zoomed into the four hour, we'll take a closer look. Let me pull up Fibonacci. I also did this on the 2008 and I meant to show it here, but it played out. It's the 2018 pullback was to the 618 Fibonacci. We've got it here at 2,200 and basically $19. So something along the order of this and then a bounce up from that really what I'm kind of expecting. All right, so let's take a quick look on the four hour. Let me clear things off and let's just look at things from a new perspective, just to see if we got any other ideas that we may have missed before. Draw a top trend line there. And let's bring that back to where we got our touches. All right, now, if we look at it in this perspective, this could be a potential bear flag indicating a drop lower. We've got to be aware of that fact. We have got to really break out of this channel. We have got to break above 23,000 and hold it if we want to remain bullish. If we break below 18,800, I definitely expect bigger drop to the downside and possibly another big drop like what we had over here, a quick one. So we must be diligent in what we're doing. Be very careful if you're leverage trading. If you're investing or doing swing trades, you can play this out smartly, get into a good position. I do not recommend taking a position now if you are trading until you get a confirmation. That confirmation will not come until we break and hold 23,000. It is great that we do have this Adam and Eve double bottom, but until we get confirmation, it does us no good and it can pull back. It can fail or it can be delayed. So don't put all of your eggs into one basket at the moment. It does look very tempting, very enticing, nice little beautiful bull flag there, but our indicators are just not showing it. The eight hour has a dot up here on market side. The eight our MACD is getting ready to do a bullish turnover here. The MACD waves are already coming down, going toward the zero point. RSI still has a little room to go, so we could possibly see another upswing, which would be great. But if you're in a trade, I recommend taking some profits till we actually get that confirmation. Because if it does play out like last time, which would be a 
blessing to actually have a bottom in on 2022 where we can start longing up for the top because that fractal took us up to about 50,000. These are just some things I wanted to share with you real quick to keep in mind over this weekend as you are trading. So let's quickly take another look at the Fibonacci here on the four hour. The lowest I would look to is 19,727. I do expect to pull back to 2,124. It may be as mild as 2,000. 582. Again, this is all pretty much going to depend on this trend line too, I believe. And even looking at the Ichimoku, what it tells me, we're looking between these two areas, 2,124, 2,582. If we do break below this 0 0.72, 19,727, I would be looking for a lot more downside. Keep this in mind. Be blessed. Be positive. Trade safely because you got this, baby. My name is Lane, your Crypto Road Dog, signing out. Road Dog Crypto.